So I was watching Jordan Peterson on Bill Maher, I believe it was last Friday. And uh, the first thing they let off with was the Kathy Newman interview, which has become relatively famous, gone viral. I think I watched the whole thing. The whole interview is about a half hour long. I believe I watched the whole thing with my wife. Uh, the whole interview is worth watching, but there's one particular part of the interview that has gone famous, that has become famous and gone viral. And uh, Jordan Peterson is talking to her, and she kind of puts him on the spot, going, "Well, why are you?" Why do you have the right to make people feel uncomfortable when you speak? And he answers her to the effect of, in the ascertaining of truth, oftentimes you, you, have to be, you have to be willing to make people feel uncomfortable in order to ascertain the truth. And he's like, just like you're doing right now. And that's, where, that's the part that went viral. You're making me feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> and, you know, it was really funny at the time. It stopped her dead in her tracks. Actually, she had nothing to say. Uh, you should check it out. Just... You know, put Kathy Newman into into the Kathy Newman Jordan Peterson into the search. It'll pop right up. I have no idea what the total total views is at this point, but it's probably well over three million. Uh, probably way more. I have no idea. So he goes on to explain why this touched the nerve, why this went viral, why did this resonate so completely with the public at large, and his explanation is this: it's something that is self evidently true but not expressed all that well, all that often. That's almost word for word, word, word for word. Something that is self-evidently true, but not expressed that well all that often. And he said, he analyzed that the reason for that is that the conversations that we have as a, as a culture, the public conversation, the public discourse, when we're talking about things that are relatively important, it's sensitive. People get upset. It's hard to talk about these things without ruffling people's feathers, without people, that's why it's hard to say things correctly. And just like you, the individual, now this is no longer Jordan Peterson, this is me talking. Just like you, the individual, have trigger points, certain things someone starts talking about and starts getting you upset. Don't be talking about my mama. No, don't you be, you, don't you be talking about my mama. You start getting upset. Someone starts talking about your mother. There are trigger points in the culture at large. There are certain topics of conversation that we have trouble addressing as a culture because they are too sensitive. Race is a big one. Oftentimes sexuality. It's a whole bunch of them. And now we have a new type of person, kind of an SJW or the sensitivity police. And quite frankly, they are, they are part of the problem. They aren't part of the solution. They are part of the problem. Because now there are certain proscribed ways of addressing these issues that if you don't do it in the correct way, you're going you're gonna to run afoul of the sensitivity police. And they're going to come up and they're going to, you know, they're going to say, they're going to give you a talking to. Because now there are certain proscribed ways that we have of addressing these situations. As a matter of fact, the underlying premise of a lot of his cultural critique. And in this I kind of agree, is that the sensitivity police are getting in the way of us having honest dialogues about difficult subjects. Because they lay out ahead of time that there are only certain types of opinions or certain prescribed ways of talking about difficult subjects. And, you can, and they lay down boundaries and you cannot go outside of those boundaries. You're violating some quote unquote safe space and you can't even think about these subjects in ways other than certain proscribed ways and that is becoming his underlying point of a lot of his a lot of what made him a, a relative famous cultural figure actually is his underlying point and this I tend to agree with him that we are limiting our ability to talk honestly about things and to have opposing point of views because we have, you know, decided on the ways that they need to be addressed ahead of time. And anybody who believes differently or expresses their opinions in different ways or has even radically different beliefs on the subjects are automatically left out of the dialogue. 
Opinions that run afoul of the sensitivity police are starting to become verboten by definition. They are forbidden. They are not allowed to be they are not allowed to be publicly discussed. And that is that is that is a truism of something that he puts forth. I, I tend to agree with him on that. The sensitivity police are not part of the solution, they are part of the problem. And they are limiting our ability to talk honestly about difficult situations. Because there are only certain ways that we seem to be allowed nowadays to discuss these things.